All right, guys, the time has come to check the cheap $2 chrome. And for this test, as I've been showing you right along, will be these three. We got Vallejo Model Air, simply chrome. Model Master Enamel, chrome silver. I'm not expecting much because it's called chrome silver. And this is Humbrol's Enamel, another enamel. Now this just says MET for metallic and 191. If you can see, it's just a shiny cover with no uh, name at all. Um, Humbrol Paints will put either what the color is, that's a gloss orange, or overall the whole cap will be what you're going to get, that's silver. Can you see it? It's like silver. You got You really need to use their numbering system because um, the, the cans are not labeled at all with Humbrol. You need, to, you need the labeling and keep a chart like I do. I'll show you what I mean. This is my MR2, MRP paint list. And I put the number and here's my Humbrol list. These are my uh, acrylics, but see, I, I went online and I got their chart, and so I know the exact number. It's just how they do it. So, there you go for that. Let me put that back. Anyway, and this, uh, I'm gonna test their metallic lineups, their metalizer lineup, see that? That's like a metalizer brass or a chrome. This is a gun metal. So these, these are coming up soon. I'm gonna be testing those. But for this, because I wanna do the chrome all by itself, we're gonna do it with these here three. And I don't know what this looks like. It could be good. I don't know. This one, I, I can see, you can kind of see a shimmery chrome-like. But at two bucks, it's not going to be uh, all clad level chrome. No way. I think it's just going to be uh, just a shiny silver with a fine pigment. So you don't really see the silver in it. That's it. So I think that's what we're going to get with these. But for two bucks, this was about two bucks. This was definitely two because it's uh, a lot of places are discontinuing it. So I found it for two bucks. These these are always about two bucks. So. These are all $2 a piece, so I'm not expecting much. I'm not going to be getting any $10, you know, level of uh, all-clad level here. It's my guess anyway. We, we could be shocked, but it could be good enough for what you guys are doing at 2 bucks. Who the hell knows? Any, anyway, I'll show you how thin it is um, when the time comes. I'm going to thin each one of these, and I'll show you the ratio that I use. And uh, that's it. Let's head off to the booth, and uh, let's test these out. Now for the test... I will be going over a black spoon, um, even though I think these can go over anything. We'll try it over a prime spoon, too. But uh, to keep it equal, we will do uh, three spoons uh, of gloss black for each one of these. And then uh, from there, we'll try other spoons. And uh, that's it. Let's head off to the test. Hi, guys. Uh, before I head to the booth, I want to show you guys the consistency that I got with these two enamels. I thinned it with uh, Tester's enamel thinner. And that's the consistency I got for the Humbrol. Uh, pretty much just touch the, the side of your, your cup and you get it to flow down, you know, at a pretty steady rate. It doesn't glob up, but it just eventually gets its way down there uh, rather quickly. All right. Break off the end of this stera so we don't interfere with this one. Now the testers, same thing. 50-50 I like to go, but look at the, this one looks like the most chrome, this actually looks like chrome spray paint, can you see how great that looks? I didn't expect much from this because it's called chrome silver, but this could be the sleeper of the batch here, let me get this to the camera, can you see it? It's like liquid uh, mercury almost, same thing, touch the side of your jar, it'll run down um, at a certain pace, it's hard to explain, you know, I'm showing you here, you see it just running down? That's kind of the, the consistency you want. And this is, hold on, let me get another Stera. This is the Vallejo. Um, this one don't look like much at all, even though in the jar, it's the only one that had that kind of shimmer to it. Actually, this one has the best look in the, in the cup anyway, which might not mean much until we spray it. But that's what I went with this. It's called Model Air. But it's not ready for airbrush. Trust me, guys. you got to thin it up. I did some thinner, some flow improver, and a drop of this retarder to slow down the drying process. And that's the consistency I got. The uh, As for an acrylic, the uh, Vallejo sprays a little better when it's just a little thicker than your average uh, acrylic. But um, that's what we're going with. Um, so let me pause this camera now, and I'll head, you, I'm gonna head over to the booth. And... Um, We'll see how these three $2 chromes end up looking like. 
All right, guys, we're back at the booth. Uh, we're going to start with Humbrel Chrome. We're going with the uh, Hotter and Steinbeck earbrush. I'm going to go with a black spoon. I'm going to go very lightly on this stuff because enamels uh, are picky just like uh, I think they are, like uh, uh, acrylics. So I got it pretty light, about 15 PSI on the needle, and I got it turned down up here too so we're not blasting it out. I, I don't expect this to be chrome in the sense of, you know, all-clad chrome. You can really see the flakes in it, which I could see when I was staring it. So, I mean, I know what we were going to get. But it might be, you know, a good-looking silver, you know? Which is, um, it's tough to get a nice silver. All right, we'll let this dry. Not bad, good looking. Let's try, uh... Try it over gray. I'm trying to get the spoon clean here. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, it goes over primer really well. Right now, it just looks like I'm gloss coating it. It's like a pearl. It's like pearl white, which is what I expect anyway. We'll see how that dries, but it needs to be over dark, as I thought. Anyway, we'll see how it dries. All right, guys, let me go grab the next one. We'll grab the uh, testers, and we'll see what that looks like. All right, guys, going in with Model Master Chrome Silver. Even though uh, this one just as a liquid, you see it? looks the most chrome so I don't know fingers crossed on this one I'm using the same gun and when I uh, I'm going to switch to a different airbrush when I go to the acrylic just so I have uh, make sure all the solvents are dried out of this one whoa this goes out heavy oh this looks surprisingly better than I thought it was going to look I don't think it's going to have that mirror finish but it covers very nice. Wow. You know, not bad for two bucks. <laughs> you know, I'm not even putting any more. That's it. I couldn't even. That's one one coat. It goes on heavy, just like their spray can. So uh, let's get this out of here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and try it over anything. Seeing that it's just uh, straight up enamel paint, nothing special. Let's say. This is a uh, gray primer. Yeah, it likes the gray primer, man. It looks like, good thing I did this. Now, uh, I would say you don't even need the, the bait, the black base. Look at that. You know what? Hold on, guys. Let's try it um, over a plain white spoon. I'm blowing it off here. All right, let's see what we get. Yeah, it, it goes over plastic. It, it doesn't need anything. So I didn't have a chance to wipe this off. The static on the spoon attracts a lot of paint. You gotta hit him with the alcohol or something. But uh, that's it. One coat. Look at that. I mean, there's nothing else for me to do. It just went on perfect. And anyway, that's a white spoon. That's a primate spoon and a black. And uh, this stuff is not bad. Wow. Anyway, we'll do the uh, Vallejo and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, we're back with the uh, Vallejo. Oh, here we go. The Vallejo Chrome. I switched guns. I went to my, uh, my GSI Procon. And let's see what we get. Now, I'm going to use now. Even though it's chrome, it looks completely different from their other paint. I still think it's just, I'm going to paint it just like I would my acrylic test I showed you guys. I'm going to go very light and we're going to uh, dry it in between. It 
So let's dry it up. It goes on quick, just like the uh, all clads and all them. The problem is it's the final coat ends up not looking like uh, I'm drying it off. It ends up looking like, you know, just shiny, shiny silver, which is what I expected anyway. All right, let's go in again for another coat. Okay, don't go crazy because it's starting to look good and you want to go with another coat, but this is a tricky, tricky acrylic. So we're going to go, uh, again, we're going to dry it. This is exciting to watch as paint dry, right? Looks pretty good. All right. I don't think it's going to look like chrome. I, you know, I, I thoroughly expect that. But if I get a nice, smooth-looking silver, it probably end up looking like aluminum. Is what's going to happen. But I'm going to go in with the final coat here. After I get a nice dry on this. All right, let's go in. Now it has something to cling to, you know? Yeah, I didn't think this was going to look anything like chrome, and uh, I was right. But it could dry different. Who knows? We'll see at the bench. We'll let this dry. Vallejo does dry completely different than how's it going a lot of the times. Um, so let's try it over. Gray primer. I'm going on instinct because these don't come with any instructions to put it over black at all. Or I'm only doing it because it's chrome. I'm, I'm just going with my own background here. All right, let's dry this off. You can tell when it's dry because it, it's pretty dull, which most acrylic, uh, most uh, Vallejo paints are. They're mostly matte or satin. Now what we ended up with here. This looks just like a, an all-clad aluminum. Good looking aluminum though, I'll tell you that. It seemed to it seemed to like uh, spraying over the uh, primer than it did the gloss black. It has something to cling to, which these acrylics generally need. Anyway, there you go. That's pretty good. I'll go in for a final glossy coat here. This, I don't think this stuff goes on light. It's not the same as the other chromes, you know. Anyway, there we go. Not bad. We'll see how it looks. Hey, just for the hell of it, guys, let's try it over a bare spoon. Not bad. Look at that. I'm drying it right now again. It dries pretty quickly. Well, I put everything on the same thing, you know, a white spoon, a primate spoon, and a black spoon. So we'll see what we get at the end, all right? We'll let this dry, and we will see you back at the bench and see the results. All right, guys, got the results. Uh, as expected, however, we have a clear winner, and um, let's go straight to the winner. It turned out to be the one I didn't think would be because it was called chrome silver. And while not exactly chrome, um, compared to the other, this is pretty damn good. Now, it's not going to have that mirror shine. I didn't think it would. It's not the same formula, and, and, you know. But it was thick, and um, it, it had to go on thick. It's just how it is. It was just a, it was just a normal paint. This is all three. This is over primer. This is over just plastic. And this is over black. So there's no real difference. As a matter of fact, save your money. Don't even bother with a primer. This is right over the white plastic. Look how good. Ended up getting a hair in there. But um, look at that. It's, I mean, as far as these others go, that's the winner. Let's look at it over another chrome. Hold on a second. You know, you're not going to get the same level. You know, this is the Gaia. Uh, this is the Molotov marker. I mean, we're just not going to get that level of chrome. I know we're not, you know, obviously. But uh, for two bucks, it's 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 probably like an aluminum, I guess. You know, that's what it is, really. 
I don't know why they call it chrome, but it went on great. It dried beautifully. It's two bucks. I mean, it's a clear winner because uh, this is <laughs> this is the um, Vallejo chrome. I thought this would have been a winner only because I could see a nice shimmer look when I look at it through the light, but it ended up coming up pretty dull. This is it over the black, which is really dull, and this is it over gray. You know, I think, did I do it on plastic? Hold on. And here it is over plastic. No real difference. Might as well just put it over plastic. And it covered pretty good as far as Vallejo goes because they're, they're kind of a tricky paint. Um, you could tell the difference, though. I mean, look at this. See it? It's a huge difference. Now, enamels take a long time to dry, which is what this is. So I'm not really going to buff this out yet. Um, I'm trying to light. It's pretty dry. I'm trying to lightly buff it on my shirt, you know, just see if I can get some kind of result, but uh, right now I can't. It's just too too early in its drying process. But I mean, look at the difference. Here's all three of the Vallejo, you know, and I mean, look at the, look at that, that's it over plat. I mean, look at it, it's a huge difference. You know, it's not quite chrome, but not bad. And I think when this dries, this will be pretty damn sturdy. If you guys are looking for sturdy and durable chrome, I mean, it's not gonna shine like a mirror, but it's gonna, it'll be damn strong. I know that because the enamels after a week or so is really strong. So uh, the Vallejo is a no. But however, it is a nice aluminum. I'll tell you right now, that that's a good looking aluminum. Yep. Um, if we base it on uh, some of my, sorry guys, I'm out of microphone. I'm trying to do this quick. You know, we base it. These are all my my spoons of all my all clad tests. You know, if you base it on that, like uh, what do we have here? High speed silver. You know, look at it. It's the same thing. That's all it really is. So, I mean, if it wasn't marketed as a chrome, it would be a pretty damn good metalizer aluminum or high-speed silver or one of those. Unfortunately, they, they marketed it as chrome. This is also marketed as chrome. This is the loser of the bunch right here. Um, this is the enamel humbrel. Um, metal 191, if you look it up, it says chrome on their catalog. It just came out like gunmetal. I, I don't. I tried this for a while, even off camera, to get it good. This is over gray. This is over the black. I, I mark my spoons with the black, so I know I put it over the black. See each one. That's what that's what that mark is. But see, it, it's it's more like a, again like a car color, like you'd paint my Porsche. I'm I'm going to be doing soon. A uh, 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 charcoal gray. I, I don't know where they get off char calling that chrome. This is it over plastic, white plastic. About the best I could get. It came closer to this with a shine, a nice pearl finish. It went on smooth. Again, maybe if you don't use these paints for their design purpose, you're getting something unique out of it. Because that looks good. It's not chrome, but it's a nice pearlized color, you know. Compared to the Vallejo, it's almost close being over bare plastic. But it doesn't. It has a shine and a, and a pearl to it where this is just like an aluminum, just a regular metalizer. And this is it. Not even comparison to the the uh, model master. So we do have a clear winner without going any further. Now again, these are two bucks a piece, and uh, you know they just call it chrome. I, I know what they were doing. You know the real chrome paints. You know are your uh, your all clads and and uh, the spastics and the Gaia that thirty dollar bottle of Gaia. I mean that that's that's chrome. I, I I know what chrome. I know what chrome is. You know, but at two bucks a piece, this was two. This was two thirty. I think this was two because they're half price now because not going out of business, but they're discontinuing the lineup. So I just grabbed all the cheap chromes I could, and I wanted to try it. And uh, both of them, were, these two were thinned with uh, this enamel, and this was done with my uh, Vallejo Flow Improver and their thinner. And that's it. So not the greatest results. I kind of expected this. I expected something a little shinier. This, I didn't expect it to be that good, especially since this one was actually called Silver. And um, this is more chrome than silver, I'll tell you right now. So I am impressed with this one. And um, if you guys are interested, go grab it now. And you can thin this stuff. You can probably double your size because this has to be thinned, you know, cut in half. So you're probably going to get a jar this big of this stuff at 2 bucks. And if you find it, I'd grab two of them because I think if you guys put a kit together using this and let it dry a long time, you won't have to coat it or anything. And um, you should have a nice durable finish. But anyway, guys, that was it. The $2 chrome shootout, which... 
I didn't think it was going to be too much <laughs> uh, of a chrome shootout, but I did get surprised by one result. And uh, that's all. Sitting next to Harrow, we have the, the six new colors I got in for Metalizer. I also got to do the Metalizer cans in the back. And uh, very soon we're going to be doing the super mega shootout of all the... Uh, yeah, turn up. All of the Tamiya colors. Uh, these are the metallics, and then I got to do all the solids. And uh, just so you know... The size of the list of this stuff, man. I'm checking them off as I go. Everything else that's not crossed off is all their solids. Look at this. Look at all these colors I gotta get. So it looks like another 20 colors that are just solids. But I figured I'd divide it in half and do the metallics separate from the solids. Anyway, guys, uh, probably see you in a couple days. We got plenty more tests to go. And um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it. Please subscribe. I have a ton more to go. And um, I hope you enjoyed this one. And we have the surprise winner here in the Tester's Model Master, and we will see you soon.